Welcome. Today we're going to show you how to fix a common network problem that creates issues after an update. If you check your VirtualBox Manager for updates and you find out that you need to update the version, sometimes when you restart your systems you'll get a nasty network error that that causes the startup of each virtual machine to misfire. And so um, it's very persistent. You can change settings. Uh, if you find that basically you're working with a bridged adapter and you change it to NIC, but you can't ever get it to go back and bridged, or vice versa, uh, what we'll walk through in a minute will help you uh, resolve the matter completely. So the first step that you're going to take is that you're going to open up Device Manager in Control Panel and find any after you close each of the virtual machines and the virtual box manager. You'll open up Device Manager inside the Control Panel and you'll expand the Network Adapters option find any listing for virtual box host only ethernet adapter and you're going to uninstall these devices completely you'll also disable any second network interfaces that are present on your laptop or PC that are unused on many laptops the interface that uh, connects your virtual machines if you use Wi-Fi would be the Wi-Fi adapter or on a desktop would be the Ethernet but if you have one that's unused you should right click this and disable it so that it doesn't uh, confuse uh, VirtualBox as it's uh, updating virtual network drivers and so on then uh, what you'll end up doing next is you'll power off each of the the virtual machines and uh, what you'll end up doing next is is removing the adapter so if you if you can't get it to start or update and you can put it in that mode first that helps but what you'll want to do is is uh, change the adapter settings to NAT and then when you go into settings you should be able to select network and then uncheck the box so if you find out that it's sticking and you can't get it to work in bridged mode put it in NAT then open up the settings option and uncheck the box for adapter 1 or any of the adapter tabs make sure they're unchecked that'll remove uh, the network interface uh, from those virtual machines for the time being. Then what you'll want to do is go into control panel under programs and features and uninstall uh, VirtualBox and then reload VirtualBox. As you do it'll prompt about a, reconnecting a network interface that it might disrupt your services after that completes, you can go back into VirtualBox, select the network option under Settings, and check Enable Network Adapter. At that point, you should be able to select Bridged Mode, and your machine should start right up. Now this concludes our review of how to reconfigure your network interfaces following version update of VirtualBox where the virtual machine startup fails.